And thank you for the introduction and joining me for my talk. I will talk about the RDF star based digital edition of Jakob Bernoulli's Weissbüchlein. Jakob Bernoulli is a Swiss mathematician who traveled throughout Europe and Switzerland in the years 16, 1676 to 1683. During his time, he kept notes of his travel in his travel journal, the Reisbüchlein. The first page detailing his journey to Geneva, you can see on your right. And it is um, significant to mention that this Reisbüchlein really only co con uh, contains travel data. It's not a mathematical uh, notebook. It's uh, for his personal reflections and the people he has met. So the topics in the Reisbüchlein um, talk about activities which include sightseeing, meeting people, excursions, employment as private teacher, that is how partially he funded his uh, travels, and giving lectures. He took notes of the itineraries, the accommodations, transportation, food consumption, and costs. Some of these, most of these actually, except for the employment, are very common in travel literature. So this enabled us to create a very generic ontology. For the text of the digital edition, we were able to base our OCR on a typewriter transcript, which was created in the 1950s at the University of Basel. This was fed through transcribers, and now uh, the, uh, from the transcription, XML files are created and verified according to the original manuscript. So a little bit about RDF star. RDF star is an extension to regular RDF. In RDF star, it is possible to have a triple in subject or object position of a next triple. And this triple, the RDF star triple itself, then can be further in object or subject position of a triple. So we are able to create nested levels of RDF triples. Uh, these, uh, yes. So with RDF star, reification, which was mentioned earlier, can be avoided because making statements about facts, about facts are much easier. Reification would increase the processing overhead and triples and sparkle queries would be very verbose. Sparkle star queries then have lower query times and are easier to compose. Therefore, this is really ideal for a manuscript which contains a lot of metadata. So our ontology is called TRIP. It is a research-based generic RDF ontology for travel data in general. Um, our aim was to stay as possible to the content without losing the generality so that it remains applicable for other travel journeys in the future. Um, it is connected to other ontologies like FOF and DBO through subclasses and sub-properties. TRIP further extends the BIOL ontology, which was created for the Bernoulli Online, Euler Online project, um, which is a digital edition of manuscripts and correspondence of members of the Bernoulli dynasty and Leonard Euler, also a famous uh, mathematician. Here we can see a, um, an example of a, a graph. This is the Basic, this is the, what is the content of the first image you saw earlier. It's, um, we can see here, Jakob traveled to Geneva. This uh, journey has a sub-journey, which was to Listal. This is close to Basel. And this statement has been done with the RDF star triple. So in land travel, each sub-journey contains a stay which is added through the predicate has day to the has sub journey to, and the location of the stay, the accommodation can be specified with the trip stay at. Now, here comes the interesting part. The cost of the accommodation really is um, information about the stay at. It's not information about the stay because we could also have other costs of the stay. So through RDF star, we are able to specify that the cost is information about the stay at this specific accommodation and further then add the currency as an attribute of that cost. So here we are able to really preserve the original hierarchy of the information. The currencies are modeled with RDF lists in a generic form, so we can also preserve that hierarchy 
and create a very easy user interface. The highest level of nested triples in our current data is level five. So that's, that's quite high. <laughs> um, and here you would see the query, which would return the information about his stay. As you can see, it's quite simple query. With the bind um, function, we can uh, bind these uh, RDF star triples as uh, variables and then further use them in next query triples. And here you would see the results of, of that query. Now we have another example. This again is ja Jacob's journey to Geneva, which um, here you can see also the attributes of RDF star. We have two date information. First, the date at, uh, to the journey class is the date which also includes the stay and the travel as we understand the trip to contain the, the, um, the movement there and then the stay at the location. And then the second date, which is uh, um, at the edge of the tr tr predicate traveled, only is the traveling time. So we can easily differentiate these two types of date. In order to preserve uh, the order of the subjourneys, we um, can directly with the predicate trip has subjourney two to a location show where exactly um, his travel route was. And in order to preserve this order, we can specify the start location, which then again is added to the has subjourney to. Not displayed, but also added to the data is the date for each subjourney. And here you can see this is a very simple Sparkle Star query, which requests the information about the uh, the start of the subjourney and the destination of the subjourney, as well as the date. And here you would have the results. We also added to the location Wikidata links and GeoName IDs. So through that, you can easily um, request the coordinates of these locations for visualization purposes. I have done that in my thesis. It really was very simple. And so you can easily extract this information for further visualization purposes. So for transit locations, these are the locations he passed on his journeys but did not stop at. We similarly uh, created RDF star um, triples. And also for uh, activities and uh, such as dinners and lectures as well. So, so with RDF star, we are able to preserve the original hierarchy of the information, which we would not be able to with regular R RDF even if we used uh, reification. This ontology further will be applied to Nicolaus Bernoulli's travel diary, which is the nephew of Jacob Bernoulli, and is also at the University Library of Basel. So we can enrich the network of information. To our knowledge, this is the first digital edition which fully implements the RDF star technology. Um, and we are happy that we can showcase how the ease of use this technology makes it. And the person and locations from the text after the XML creation has been completed will be extracted through named entity recognition with Python scripts. I thank you very much for your attention. <laughs>